Hi there, I've been waiting for ya. Hi guys. So, it all started a couple days ago when our Sammy thought that orange juice was boring. Can you believe that? So he decided to make a super duper fresh. But there is nothing interesting in a beverage that's orange. Uh, it's not about the color but the taste, Sammy. All right, as if a plain orange taste makes it interesting. Still, it's refreshing. A bit sour though sweet, and there is pulp. Anyway, I like the orange fresh and I wouldn't mix it with anything. You're as boring as spinach. Whoa! I'll try adding some spinach! That'll be a smoothie then. Ugh. Guys, I made the base of our machine. Please note that it's a trapezoid shape. This way the machine will settle better. Then we'll need a piece like this. There's lots of round holes in it. And two more similar pieces. They're just a bit smaller. Let's glue them. We're gonna need lots of glue. By the way, guys, be careful when working with a hot glue gun. Better ask an adult to help you. In fact, creating something together is so much fun. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to see the result. We'll connect the pieces matching the holes position. So it's outrageous! Oh, Sammy, did a boogie monster attack you? <laughs> no, that was your favorite spinach. I put it into the blender and then... <laughs> Sammy, you need to close the blender before turning it on. Anyway, spinach is never a good idea. Oh, better make a Nutella fresh. If you put Nutella in a blender and forget to close it, it will attack you in the same way. It's not about the ingredients. It's all about safety. Ha, <laughs> I got it. You're against Nutella. Ugh, voila. Here's another cardboard box. That's the second part of the machine body. So I was on my way to the kitchen lab and found this. This is a huge button. <laughs> Why do you think that? Because of these holes. Why do we need a huge button in our magic machine? Uh, that's not a button. That's something more interesting. You'll see soon for yourself. Four small motors and four diodes? So I demand an explanation. Guess what? And four buttons. Quadruplication of the pieces. Shiver me, Cheddar Sue. Why do we have only one battery then, huh? Hey, for these four LEDs, we'll also have only one switch. How do you like that? <laughs> no, 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 no. One tiny switch and one battery can't handle all that. <sighs> Sammy, don't panic. Better pass me those wires, please. Frankly speaking, this mechanism only seems to be complicated. We'll connect all these, and the entire system will turn on at once but each pump will pour its juice separately. All you need to do is press the right button. And which is the right button? What if I press the wrong one? Uh, then you'll just pour the wrong juice. It's no biggie. Good macaroons! How do I know where the right juice is? Um, it depends on the juice you wanted to drink. So, you're talking like the Cheshire Cat. So many riddles. Uh, and you're asking too many questions, like Alice. Guys, be careful with the soldering iron. Remember, it's very hot. Yeah, better ask an adult to help you. But there's something you can do by yourselves. One simple action. Subscribe to our channel. <laughs> That's easy and safe. While you were chattering, I finished here. Wanna check? Well, well, well. Interesting. And complicated. Huh, heck work. You didn't solder the buttons. Aha! I was checking to see if you'd notice or not. Actually, it's supposed to be like that. We've got a slightly different order here. We'll solder the wires separately from the system. We'll secure the wires this way. One will connect to the buttons. The other one will go straight to the pump. And now let's fix this. Be very careful with the soldering iron, guys. So how do you melt metal so easily? I mean, it's very hard. <laughs> Sammy, it's a special tin lead mixture for soldering. It easily becomes liquid under the influence of the solderer. Then we dribble it here. First, we need to put the buttons in their places. Only then we'll connect them to the mechanism. We need to set the main switch into the body too. 
Now let's hide all this inside. Craft magic! Handmade sorcery and DIY witchcraft soldering! Let's turn the switch on and test the whole thing! Wow, it works! So it's all buzzing! I like your idea about diodes. Why do we need them anyway? What an impatient slime you are, Sammy! <laughs> Oh, my feta! Fresh water! It was so hot next to the soldering iron! Sammy, have you found the plastic bottles already? Yes, but you'll have to take them by yourself! Sammy? Oh, perfect bottles! I hope you didn't drink all that water! No, Sue, I'm a slime, but not a crazy one! I'm just tired! Of what? Tired of watching you work! <laughs> <sighs> Maybe you should go continue your research then? Oh, right. I'm gonna try to make a fresh with tomato juice. Ooh, tomato? Wow. Guys, be careful with the drill. Ask an adult to help you. Where there is liquid, there is silicon tubes. For this craft, we'll need them of two diameters. Through one of them, our juice will get from the bottles straight to the glass. And the second one will be connected to the motor. It has a rather narrow spout. Sammy, how's it going? I still didn't get your idea with the tomato juice. Never mind, that's just an experiment. I'll share the results later. Are you in the mood for craft magic? Oh, yeah, but first I'll conjure up something more serious. Can I? First, I'll set this bottle manually as a reference, and then you can do the magic with the rest of them. A little bit more. Carefully connect the tube with the motor. Ta-da! Okay, it's your turn now, Sammy. First comes the secret spell. Bibbity bobbity subscribity. Okay, nothing still happened here. All right, that was just a warm up. Crafty cuts. Sue, our craft reminds me of a carousel. That's right, Sammy. Then I'll name it the Fresh Carousel. <laughs> Creative, I like that name. By the way, Sammy, I've got a special task for you. Can you get some test samples of the freshes from your laboratory? We're almost ready to start the machine. But Sue, everything's already ready. I'm waiting for you to finish the craft. Okay, I'm speeding up. We'll need to twist the tubes like this. By the way, this thing won't work from top to bottom, but from bottom to top. The juice will go up the tubes to the upper section, and then it'll get straight into the glass. Cool, right? Inspector Sam is here! How's it going with the scientific development? Oh, it's very scientific and super developed. <laughs> These tubes are strange, Sue. They go up from the bottom. Let's just reach the glass. Yes, Sammy, I set very powerful pumps. Oh, Sue. We totally need to mark the buttons, not to mix them up. You're right, Sammy, and we'll make it using pastel. Have you already decided on the tastes of the juices we'll have here? Mango, cherry, apple, and tomato juice. Tomato? Sammy, tomato juice doesn't go with fruit juices very well. Cheer me, Cheddars. You don't let me experiment. <laughs> You've got a lab for your experiments. There should be no surprises in our finished craft. By the way, you shouldn't put tomato down like that. It's also a fruit. Well, actually, it's a berry, but I still don't think it goes well with our mixed freshes. I'll prove it to you. <laughs> Go on and prove it, Mr. Scientist. But can you please paint the machine lid first? Okay, this side of our machine is already beautiful. Let's go on. Now we have two colored sides here. 
I say three. Oh, wow, great job. Guys, check this out. Give a thumbs up for our Sammy. Let's move to the third side and keep drawing our juicy tropical fruits. <laughs> Uh, Sue, I'd like to leave my special recipe on one side of this craft, too. <clears throat> Give me a pesto, please. Thanks. Sue, I love this process. Oh, a tiny final touch. And done. Okay, then. Now we need to fill the reservoirs, and the machine will be ready to mix. Actually, I'm going to need two more jars. I'll stop by Sam's lab. Salty tomato juice! <laughs> Sue's missing the most important part. Mix! Decorate! Oh, it's perfect! Sammy, didn't you hear me calling you? I need these jars with juice. Take them! I don't need them anyway, because I've made a super cocktail! What a taste! Um, well, after you. No problem. I'm sure in my creation. Uh, you know, that's interesting and unusual. <laughs> Sammy, you didn't like it. Admit it. Come on, I'll show you how the machine works. Uh, it's not that I didn't like it. It's just, oh, forget it. Here, look how cool it is. Looks impressive, Sue. Okay, let me show you. This is how you fill it with juice. Pour it carefully. Try not to spill anything. <laughs> Cardboard pieces don't like liquid. And we'll set the lid. And turn it on. The lamps in this machine are for decoration! Looks very beautiful. And now let's begin the grand mixing. All right, some mango juice. Pomegranate. And then we'll add apple juice. And some cherry. Ah, uh, you go first. That'll be fair. Okay. Ah, uh, whoa, you should taste it, Sammy. So yummy! Ah, yes, Sue, your fresh is just awesome. Thanks, Sammy. I'm so honored. <laughs> Sam, bring the cardboard. Cardboard delivered, ma'am. What do we start with? Huh, maybe saying hi to our viewers? Oops, hi, guys. <laughs> Without a reminder, you keep forgetting it. Hi, everyone. I just got carried away. By the way, not to forget about the new video, hit the bell button right there. While you were talking about the bell button, I finished cutting the cardboard. By the way, we will need three sets of those. And we start with gluing the parts. If you're gluing, I won't get in your way. I'll cut the other two sets for the can holders. But be careful with the cutter. Don't forget that it is very sharp. And you guys as well. Better ask an adult to help you. What do you take me for? Caution is my... Huh, which name is this? <laughs> Maybe 10th? <tenth? laughs> right after Mr. Bragg. Oh, or uh, the fastest slime in the world. <laughs> Excuse me. I'll cut everything out now and we'll see who did it better. Sam, don't be mad at me, but it's true. Maybe I like to gloss things over a little bit. Doesn't mean that I'm a brag. And yes, Caution is my third name. <laughs> Sammy, I'm just teasing you. You're so vulnerable when it comes to things you're good at. See, you do admit I'm the best slime in the world, and I'm not boasting. Well, maybe just a tiny little bit. Well, what do you mean, a bit? Oh, Sue, watch it. For the cylinders, I will use special flexible cardboard. Sam, are you done yet? If you didn't distract me, I would be. Sam, please bring the wooden barbecue skewers. Sure. Three pieces. I'll never finish with the cardboard at this rate. Here are your skewers. Try to do without me in the next five minutes. 
Sammy, how can I do without you? You're my main helper. Really? Of course. I'm not sure that I could make any crafts without you. No wonder. Well, I actually managed some. Oh, yeah? Then deal with it alone. Oh, Sam, forgive me. I was just musing. Fine. After all, we are making this dispenser for me. Okay, I'll go finish the holders. Phew, we avoided the storm. I just spared you. And I'm happy about it. Now we remove all the extra stuff and one holder is almost ready. Next, we have to make the handles for the dispenser from cardboard circles like this. Sam, are you ready? Yep. Be so kind and add the cylinders to the holders and I will proceed with the handles. All right, in a moment. We hold the construction and put the circles carefully right here. And clip off the excess. Done! Look, I made two holders while you made one. And who is the best master now? Oh, Sam, of course it's you! That's better. So, Sammy, should we start assembling the body of our dispenser? It's about time. By the way, Sam, what's your favorite chips flavor? Oh, let me think. Should I name just one? Not really. The dispenser is meant for three cans, so you can name three. Then it's sour cream, paprika, and pickles! Pickles? Aha! Lightly salted pickles. Oh, super delicious. Sam, did you know that there are chocolate chips? Chocolate? Yes, chips made of chocolate, but you have to eat them fast because they're very fragile and they melt fast in your hands. Whoa! I didn't know that! Now I just have to try them! Then we have to go to the grocery store and buy you a package. Oh, I'm sure the taste will be unforgettable. Guys, what's your favorite chips flavor? Comment below. Sue, which one do you like? I don't know. I like all of them, but maybe I like barbecue a little more? Then one of the flavors here will definitely be barbecue. Yep, I have the necessary label ready. And you can decorate the other handles with your flavors. Huh, I made the labels as well. Oh, pickles. Yeah, sure, I didn't doubt it. What can I do? I love these chips. We'll stick the arrows to know the spinning direction and we're almost done. Finally, I'm quite hungry already. Maybe we should have lunch and leave the chips for a snack? Nope, I just want to crunch with chips and lunch will be later. Then bring the chip cans and we'll test our dispenser. I hope to forget about sticking inside the can like a bad dream. <laughs> Sam, that was quite funny. <laughs> As if you've ever been stuck anywhere, even not for your favorite treats. Uh, it happened once when my hand got stuck in a bag with gummies. <laughs> I really like it when everything is set in place nicely. That's because you're a neat freak. Sometimes she goes overboard. Sam, clean here! Sam, don't forget to pick up the trash after the game! Oh, Sam, I can hear you! If you don't want to get the tenth name Piggy, Sam, then you have to keep things clean. Why, Piggy? I'm a very neat slime. Sometimes I just don't have time to pick up the trash because I'm super busy. You mean super busy eating chips? Exactly. Let's say bye to our viewers and go do some crunching. Deal. Bye, guys. Subscribe to our channel. And give a thumbs up and hit the bell button. Bye-bye.